pictures of men. You notice there's a hook in this picture. And I want you to know called us to not, to be fishers of men, to go out and to spread the gospel and to reach people for the Lord. And I know in Alaska, many of you that are have fished before, right? Experienced fishing and catching a fish on, on, a, on a, a hook, whether it be big or small, and it's enjoyable. So today I want to share with you on how to be fishers of men. So Jesus, one day, was walking and he saw a group of fishermen on a boat. And, uh, and they were fishing with their nets off the Sea of Galilee. walking along the shores of the Sea of Galilee, and he saw Simon and Andrew, his, his brother, and they were casting their nets into the sea, because they were fishermen, both of them. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and they followed him. So Jesus called to Simon and Andrew. And he called them and they were willing to give up their fishing and their way of life to follow him, to be near Jesus, to follow him. And they understood that Jesus had called them for a particular purpose to become his disciples <coughs> and to go and to teach others about Jesus so that they too may become disciples and followers of, of Jesus. Now Jesus called other men to become disciples along with Simon and Andrew. He called James and John, who were themselves fishermen also, and Simon and Andrew. And in this slide, you can see all four of them together and they're about their work, their fishing. And Jesus told them to drop their nets, to leave their nets, and follow him. The disciples are also called apostles. An apostle, that word apostle means someone who follows. And they followed Jesus. They were with him every day. They went wherever he went. Wherever he preached, they were with him. I want to talk to you about the 12 apostles. And Jesus appointed 12 so that they may be with him and that he might send them out to preach. And that's the whole purpose of appointment, of being appointed, so that they can go out and themselves preach. Be appointed means that you're chosen. And Jesus had the goal in mind of mission. And he appointed these twelve so that they could be with him and follow him wherever he went and, and learn from him. And Jesus taught them during this time. They learned about the kingdom of heaven. 
Jesus told, sent them out to go and preach the gospel. And that is our calling. To go out and preach the gospel. To become fishers of men. To go out, preach the good news of the gospel to people who are dying. To tell them that Jesus came and died for their sins, to forgive them, and was buried and rose again to give them eternal life. Now, who were these men, these 12 men? They were tax collectors, they were missionaries, they were doctors. We don't know what many of their occupations were. All we know is that Jesus chose them. Some were educated, some were not educated. But it doesn't matter. These things do not matter. What is important is that Jesus called them and that they were willing to obey. In our jobs, if we work in the school or wherever we work, <coughs> we have that opportunity to obey the Lord and to spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus. So in Acts chapter 4, verse 13, about the boldness of Peter and John. It says that now when, when the Sanhedrin, uh, meaning the religious group, the religious leaders of that day, <coughs> it was a court, the Sanhedrin, they were, it was a court and they were very, very, they were known for their very, very, for their strictness. saw the boldness of Peter and John and they understood that Peter and John were not educated common men that were, were that they understood that they were uneducated common men they were astonished for they recognized that they had been with Jesus because they preached with such boldness and the power of God was upon them and they saw that. And they saw the miracles that they performed and the teachings that they taught. And you know, I want you to know that you can go with boldness. You don't have to be afraid or timid or ashamed or say, I don't know how to preach. I don't know how to teach. God, God will give you power. God will give you wisdom. Do not be afraid. Go out. Go out and spread the good news. And what is that good news? That Jesus came and died for you. You know, why would someone die for me? Jesus came and he died, forgave our sins, and gave us eternal life. And that is good news. And remember, it says here that they recognize that Peter and John had been with Jesus. They knew that Jesus had taught them. And that's the same for us. When we obey God, we give up our, li our lives to Him. <coughs> when we go and we preach the good news, you know, why can't we do that? Why can't we obey the Lord as the 12 disciples? Did. For we are chosen just as they were chosen. Now it takes prayer. We need to pray together and learn from God. Learn about the things of God. Learn about His work on the earth. You know? Jesus, in the Bible, says that Jesus came to seek and save those who are lost. Those people whose souls don't know about him, that is the whole reason 
that he came to this earth to seek and save lost people, hurting people in the world, confused people, depressed people, frustrated people, people who don't know where to find the answer. Well, we're here to proclaim that Jesus Christ is the answer. <coughs> and we need to let them know. We need to share our faith. We need to share the good news. Many of you know of this <coughs> Bible, of, of this event called the Great Commission, this great calling that God has done for us and he said in the last day in the last days just just before Jesus ascended into heaven he met with his disciples and they were all gathered around them and they saw Jesus this was after he rose from the dead and Jesus gave them this great commission this great calling and this is found in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. And Jesus said to them, to the disciples, this is what Jesus told them. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, for surely I am with you always to the very end. Now Jesus commanded us to do three things, to go, to make disciples, and to teach. Jesus commands us to go, it doesn't mean we're to sit and do nothing. It means we're to be bold and to go and proclaim what the Lord has taught us. What we have learned from the scriptures. To go and teach that and proclaim that to other people. To obey Him in this calling. And I want you to know that the Lord will be with you wherever you go. His power is with you as you share His word, as you preach or share His word or give your testimony. His power is with you. Now well, as we go, we must preach Christ only. Paul is quoted as saying, I only know Christ. I preach Christ only. I know no other name under which to be saved in heaven. <coughs> Only Christ, Jesus Christ, has the power to save people from their sins. Amen. <coughs> and the just shall live by faith. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. I, Paul, Paul's writing this. He says, For I, Paul, am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and then to the Gentiles. Paul preached with boldness. He was not ashamed of the gospel. He went out in the power of God. And as the people met with him and they listened to him, they believed that Jesus was truly the Son of God who died and rose again. And
the Jews today currently only believe uh, in the first five books of the Bible. Um, from, they don't read the rest. And so there's a lot about the gospel that they haven't heard, and so they don't accept it. When Jesus came, he the gospel to the Jews. Some were saved. Many were saved. hometown of Nazareth, they rejected Jesus. The majority of the people rejected him, and it grieved his heart. And so Jesus went and preached to the other towns, um, and, and the Gentiles. <coughs> and the Jews, at that time, refused to listen or accept him. So the Gentiles in that area were people such as the Greeks. Um, the gospel was preached there. And many people were saved. And they, and they more and more people wanted to be saved. And the Jewish people heard that so many Gentiles got saved that they became uh, uh, intrigued and they wanted to become saved. So, reading from the book of Acts, verse 13, 14 through 47, it talks about sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul and Barnabas, this is the sign for Barnabas, were leaving the temple, there was a synagogue, and the people asked them to come again on the next day. Sabbath day and tell them more about these things, about what Jesus had done. They wanted to know more details, so they asked him to come back. So Paul stood there and explained about Jesus' death and resurrection, and the, and the Jews rejected, at the time Jesus, they rejected Jesus. <clears throat> they arrested him brought him before the, the courts for blasphemy against, against God. Of course, Jesus was innocent. And it was that Jesus that was crucified. And so Paul was explaining this to them. And in that, to that city, about what they were hungry. They wanted to learn more about this Jesus. <clears throat> and that's why they, they asked Paul to come again. So after the meeting, many of the people followed Paul and Barnabas, including many Jews and people who changed their religion to be like the Jews and worshipped the true God. Paul and Barnabas encouraged them to continue trusting in God's grace. On the next Sabbath day, almost all the people in the city came together to hear the word of the Lord. You see that? They were, they were hungry, they wanted to hear about this Jesus. And they accepted him. And but and through the power of God, the anointing of God called. People were convicted and they believed and they repented and they followed the one true God. And when the Jews there saw these people, they became very jealous, shouting insults. They argued against everything Paul said. However, Paul and Barnabas spoke very boldly. You see, the <coughs> with the power of God given to you to preach the gospel, you can go and go. Jesus has given us authority, authority to go and preach in his name. He's given us that power to go and tell the gospel, right? So that's powerful. So they said, 
we have to tell God's message to you, the Jews, first. But you refuse to listen. You've made it clear that you are not worthy to have eternal life or this message. You're not accepting it. So they went to the people who were not Jews. The Jewish people rejected him, rejected the truth, so they went to the people who were not Jews and preached the gospel, and people were being saved. And then, of course, that incited jealousy in the Jews. And it caused them to realize that they were wrong for rejecting Jesus Christ. And this is what the Lord told us to do. That I have made you a light for the other nations to show people all over the world the way to be saved. To be saved, how? Through faith in Jesus Christ alone. His name only. No other names, but only Jesus Christ. Amen?